Hey family, welcome back. We're in the Quran, and we're on Surah 55, and it's titled Rahman or Allah Most Gracious. Okay. In the name of Allah, Most Gracious, Most Merciful, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Allah Most Gracious, it is He who has taught the Quran. He has created man. He has taught him speech and intelligence. The sun and the moon follow courses exactly computed. And the herbs and the trees, both alike, bow in adoration. And the firmament has he raised high. And he has set up the balance of justice. In order that ye may not transgress, do balance. So establish weight with justice, and fall not short in the balance. It is he who has spread out the earth for his creatures. Therein is fruit and date palms, producing space and closing dates. Also corn with its leaves and stock for fodder and sweet-smelling plants. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? He created man from sounding clay like unto pottery, and he created gems from fire free of smoke. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? He is Lord of the two Easts and Lord of the two Nests. Ooh, never heard that one before. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? He has let free the two bodies of flowing water meeting together. Between them is a barrier which they do not transgress. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Out of them come pearls and coral. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Oh, oh, I see a pattern here. Uh, which of the favors will you deny? Which of the favors? Uh, okay, we're getting into something here. Then which of the favors? Uh, again, yes, I'm 23. And his are the ships sailing smoothly through the seas, lofty as mountains. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? All that is on earth will perish. But will abide forever the face of thy Lord, full of majesty, bounty, and honor. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Of him seeks its need every creature in the heavens and on earth. Every day in new splendor doth he shine. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Soon shall we settle your affairs, O both ye worlds. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? O ye assembly of jinns and men, if it be ye can pass beyond the zones of the heavens and the earth, pass ye. Not without authority shall ye be able to pass. Oh! That sounds a lot like that prison planet theory that people keep mentioning. I don't think I've ever read a religious text that says that you cannot escape the earth. This is the first one. Because look, if you don't have authority, you cannot pass. So beyond the zones of heaven and earth. Ooh. Ooh. That brings up the moon landing topic. Some people think we did go, some people think we didn't. Ooh. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? On you will be sent, O ye evil ones twain, a flame of fire to burn and a smoke to choke. No defense will ye have. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? When the sky is rent asunder and it becomes red like ointment, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? On that day no question will be asked of man or jinn as to his sin. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? That, when that keeps repeating, makes me think of all the things I should be grateful for, which I am grateful for. But you cannot... It's almost like it's telling me, don't focus so much on the suffering of what you don't have, and instead of focus on the favors that you do have. A roof over your head. Water. Oxygen. The ability to have warm or cold water in the shower. And for cooking. Having a gas stove. Having a refrigerator. Having pots and pans to cook in.
For the sinners will be known by their marks, and they will be seized by their forelocks and their feet. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? This is the hell which the sinners deny. In its midst and in the midst of boiling hot water will they wander around. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? But for such a fear the time when they will stand before the judgment seat of their Lord, there will be two gardens. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Containing all kinds of trees and delights, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them each will be two springs flowing free. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them will be fruits of every kind, two and two. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? They will recline on carpets whose inner linings will be of rich brocade. The fruit of the gardens will be near and easy of reach. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them will be maidens chaste, restraining their glances, whom no man or jinn before them has touched. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Like unto rubies and coral, then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Is there any reward for good other than good? Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Ah, uh, I know for uh, 60 right here. Uh, I know already people would say, Well, if there's a reward for good for good, then why do good people suffer in the world? But I think the rebuttal to that would be, You get your reward not always in this life, but in the next life, right? According to the Quran, right? The full accounting. That the accounting will be just, right? I think that's the correct answer. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? And besides these two, there are two other gardens. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Dark green in color from plentiful watering. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them each will be two springs pouring forth water in continuous abundance. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Sets up a, peat, a beat. Let me read it. In them will be fruits and dates and pomegranates. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? In them will be fair companions, good, beautiful. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? When it says fair companions, it's not just for men, right? It's for women too. Like, what if somebody dies and they're, they don't have anybody? They're going to get that in the hereafter? What's, what, what, like, the scariest thing to me is what if somebody wants you but you don't want them? And then they ask for you in your perfect form in their paradise. Would you then be in their realm of paradise? Or would it just be a carbon, like a carbon copy of you or a astral copy of you in their reality for them can you or what if you get asked is that what you want to go there with them what if somebody wants you you don't even know who they are and what if you never met the one that you wanted and you die and you're like i don't even know what i want and then god just knows like this is what you want this is what's good for you here it is very interesting deep question then which of the favors of your law will ye deny Companions restrained as to their glances in goodly pavilions. I think every woman likes that, honestly. There's every woman, I think, when you're with your partner and uh, you're going out, you know, you look at your man to see if they're looking at someone else. And dudes, maybe they do it to a lesser degree when a big muscle dude walks by. They check to see their girl's look. But it's more common when women looking at their man, like, is he going to look at her? So notice how in heaven it's saying as restrained glances are something goodly in in heaven, in, in the paradise. That's something very interesting. Puts a lot of women at ease, right? Especially in a world where we live where they want you to look at everything. They want you to. You know, it's, it's interesting. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny, whom no man or jinn before them has touched? That's freaky. Jins, so that's like saying gyms, gins have touched people. Ooh. Oh, 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 it's scary. 
a type of woman if a jinn has touched a woman. Oh, I'm running, man. I'm running away. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Reclining on green cushions and rich carpets of beauty. Then which of the favors of your Lord will ye deny? Blessed be the name of thy Lord, full of majesty, bounty, and honor. That one was really cool. They're all cool, but that one is like, because it kept asking you, like, over and over. There's, that's like a sign, right? It's like, hey, we're going to ask you this a bunch of times. Which of your favors will you deny? It's like, almost like I said, like, telling you to focus on the blessings and not just the trials, which is very important right now, because even I'm struggling with that during the quarantine a little bit. It's like, I miss the gym. I want to be at work, but I'm afraid to get the virus because it's so expensive, the bill. But I don't want all my savings to go towards rent because rent is so high in this state. And it's weird because it's like your brain is, you realize you're blessed. I have rice, I have beans, I got tortillas, got milk, got some really good eggs. Um, got some bones to make bone broth, right? You got that, I got like... You know, I'm blessed, man. Right? But it's weird how it feels like you're in a quarantine. You're in a little bit of a prison. So it's like your mind bounces off the walls. And you start thinking like, man, getting cabin fever, getting cabin fever. I want to get out there. It's like the industrious spirit, which is good to know when to take a break. But it's been four weeks now. And they're pushing it all the way till May 3rd. So essentially, it's like two months of just being locked down. A lot of time to meditate and reflect, but like I said, it's easy to not focus on what they say are the favors that God's given you, right? Whew, it's hard. And especially when everybody's kind of on edge and angsty. And, you know, some people are, are, are freaking out and other people are, you know, really suffering. There's a lot of people going through domestic violence. They said in San Francisco, uh, domestic violence has spiked, child abuse has spiked. And in France, I just saw that they had a study that there was reports of more domestic violence. So, um, and there's already been reported suicides and a lot of addicts relapsing on drugs. So people are going through a very difficult time right now and we can't help them Right? It's like, we have to be inside. You can't help them. You can, sort of, but not really. They gotta go through that tunnel themselves. You can be a voice in the chamber, but you can't make them walk down the pathway, right? So, this, this, that section for sure, man. The Rahman section is like, which of the favors will you deny? really gets you thinking during these deep times like hey you might not have all the favors you want but you got some so do you deny it it's like i don't deny it so, okay then focus on that what do you think i want to know what you think what do you think about the purpose of repeating such a phrase over and over right because the sinners deny it which is natural right they deny so that they continue in their behavior. Cognitive dissonance in a way. Stockholm Syndrome maybe. Right? But uh, what do you think? Gratitude is the main theme that I get out of this. Because it wouldn't repeat so much for no reason. There's a lot of repetition in the Quran. But in this surah, that's the most repetition I've seen. And that is something there. And the, the you know, message of the verse repeated and the theme of the verse repeated is something echoed throughout the Quran, right? But more condensed here. And that in and of itself is like a hyper-focus and really gets you wondering. Interesting. What do you think, family? <laughs>